So, uh, yeah, uh, first, uh, thanks to all participants of the app contest. Uh, what a coincidence, we're doing a panel on how to contribute. So, yeah, um, it's also a sort of, sort of uh, participation, uh, writing an app. Um, but there's, of course, many more. Um, and as you might see here, uh, first, there's a, there's a link directly to the contribution page, which many of you uh, probably already know, nextlot.com slash contribute. But also, uh, something that we're doing as yeah, a bit of an experiment, uh, which is also an experiment in contribution and collaboration. You see here the community collective link that was mentioned before. You might have seen the, uh, some, of the, some of the QR codes are for the program. Some of them are for the collective. This is the link for the collective, odoo.nextlot.com slash r slash UK2 uh, has nothing to do with Brexit. Don't worry, but uh, that's a short link. Uh, so there you can you can list anything regarding the sessions. Uh, you can you can write down notes for this session, for example, share it with others um, for, for any of the other talks. Um, yeah, there's a there's a, a playground there. If you've never used uh, collectives before, you can try out some of the features, some of the things that were uh, presented in the keynote. Yeah, it's a, and if you if you find something, you can give feedback to us. Of course, yeah, it's a little bit of a of an experiment. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, so yeah, uh, welcome to this panel. How to contribute? Uh, let me first introduce everyone. So first, we have uh, my dear colleague Nimisha Vijay, uh, who's designer at Nextcloud. Yeah, saw her before, and uh, she's also going to give a lightning talk tomorrow about how to contribute to Nextcloud design. So. If you want to know more about that beyond this panel, uh, listen tomorrow. Then uh, we have uh, Pedro Silva from uh, Collabora Online doing UX and community management there, and he's uh, doing a workshop actually about uh, how to contribute to uh, how to contribute design to Collabora. Uh, how to contribute even? to rich documents to rich documents and also uh, and to Nextcloud like Office. Yeah, yeah. everything tomorrow as well. Yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah. Yes, and uh, then Raul will also help. Sorry, can you repeat? Hopefully, Raul will also help. <laughs> I'm sure he will. I'm, now he's now he's uh, now everyone knows that he needs help. Yeah, now he has my to. plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right, and uh, then of course we have Greta Dochi, uh, software engineer uh, in the Groupware team. Yeah, uh, also from Nextcloud. Um, yeah, uh, and I am Jan. I'm doing design at Nextcloud, as you might know from the uh, keynote, maybe. Um, all right, so. Um, Briefly mentioned before, contribution is of course uh, not only code, yeah, but it's also design. You notice that we have quite some designers here. Yeah, uh, it's of course also writing documentation, it's doing the website, it's doing translations, it's doing community management, being at events, yeah, doing so many different things, answering questions on the forum, asking questions on the forum because someone will maybe look for them, someone else. Yeah, uh, it's so many different things. Yeah, testing, bug hunting, like. You know, uh, there's so many things I can't even mention them all. Yeah? Um, and so, so um, this is sort of a, a panel to to give you a bit of a, a start, a bit of an idea how you can get involved, and also to share some uh, maybe some more personal stories of of um, how we got involved in in uh, open source and in Nextcloud specifically, and what are some specific tips and tricks uh, that uh, that we have to share. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll have to look at the time, but uh, maybe, maybe afterwards you can also ask some questions, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But you can also, of course, ask us in person um, at the conference. Yeah, we're here. Uh, so then the first uh, sort of question would be, or the, the, the first sort of intro is, uh, yeah, how did you start contributing to open source and how did you get involved in Nextcloud? Um, let's start maybe with uh, Nimisha. Uh, yeah, sure. So I've been interested in open source for a pretty long time. I was a user of Ubuntu and, and I'm from India and over there it's a little bit like cool and alternative. So I was interested in open source for a while, but um, because I'm not super great with coding, I felt a little bit intimidated by, you know, how difficult it is to sort of get involved, I think. Um, when I got interested in design, I came across Nextcloud and I saw that there was a dedicated sort of design page. And, you know, um, I saw that there were people working on design. Um, so I just, you know, sent an email actually saying, hey, can I please get involved? And then I was, they were like, yeah, sure, I guess. And then, like, I got involved. It was super chill. And uh, now I work for Nextcloud as a designer. So this is, I guess, my first experience um, contributing to open source. But I think it was a super fun and smooth one. So maybe Pedro? Cool. Yeah. Uh yeah, I got 
I think I started to be interested in open source and uh, can you hear me? M move your mic a bit closer to the. Uh, no, the mic is on, right? Yeah, but a bit closer to the mouth, maybe. Okay, okay. That's Thanks. <laughs> maybe we can do this during <laughs> the whole panel discussion. Is it okay? Can you hear me? No. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Ah, much better. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I started to get into uh, open source, I think on during my pre-teens, uh, I was, uh, I got to know about this uh, Kurumin, which was uh, some distribution from uh, Brazil. Um, I'm Portuguese, by the way, so it, it just felt, I felt at home there. And uh, then fast forward, <clears throat> and uh, when I was uh, already interested in design and uh, graphic design and all these things, um, I just uh, came across um, this motto I still follow, which is like follow uh, by example, and so I just I just uh, remember to meet the, the fellows from the Manufactura Independent, which I think you know as well, Jan, um, and the cool um, cool collective design collective doing cool stuff uh, with the open source tools and for open source uh, projects. And that's it. And I just contributed uh, a, a bit here, a bit there, yeah, by like you know mockups, uh, I don't know for Inkscape or doing a little bit translations of the things I use. So it's it's uh, a bit uh, all over the place and not really organized. Uh, it's just uh, you know the things that appear, the things I could help with. That's it. <laughs> Um, very nice, super. Uh, so um, for me, it was actually because of Linux. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, I was one of the cool kids in school, and for me, that was kind of entertaining. Um, so yeah, I was using uh, Linux uh, starting from high school, and then um, when I decided to study for computer science uh, and then moved back to the capital of Albania, I'm from Albania, um, I decided to kind of, uh, apart from a user, to be also a contributor. So that this is how I start looking for uh, communities that would do um, uh, Linux workshops or Wikipedia writing context and then um, ending up with uh, Nextcloud. So for me, it was uh, kind of that. Um, briefly, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I, I can also share briefly my my uh, thing. Like for, for me, it was a lot of uh, a lot about actually uh, DIY. Like I love the the do-it-yourself aspect of of open source because like yeah, in Windows and macOS and so on, you cannot really change a lot unless you start working there. And here, everyone can start working on this yeah, and on open source. So that's what I what I really liked about it. It's like a very sort of this punk aspect and do it yourself thing uh, is what I really kind of kind of love about it. Yeah, uh, cool. So um, uh, next sort of topic or question would be, um, yeah, what helped you initially, especially? And also, what did you see as the biggest barrier so, at the same time? So yeah, does anyone want to start? Maybe Greta, do you want to start? Um, sure, I'm the technical part here. Do you want to start with the technical part? <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah, um, I'm a technical person, but uh, weirdly enough, when I started with um, uh, Linux, Wikipedia, and then Nextcloud, I also saw some Mozilla stuff. Uh, I only did either I organized event for people to participate uh, in these events to kind of advocate for open source, or I worked on translation. Like I have a thing, I really like my language, so I had to make sure that um, um, the projects that I was a fan of, uh, they have to be in the uh, into the Albanian language. So. Um, yeah, for example, I think uh, that the way how I got involved with uh, Nextcloud, it was people poking me on uh, GitHub to translate stuff um, into the Albanian language after they um, added some new strings or something. I think uh, this is uh, how it was. I think I also remember the project. Uh, there was some stuff for Android, if I'm not uh, wrong. Um, um, so yeah, and then... Um, I think maybe this is uh, one of the barriers that I might uh, mention here. So as a technical person, I really wanted to contribute in the technical part, like uh, writing code or fixing bugs, or I don't know, doing some administration stuff, um, because I um, um, used to know stuff about it. <laughs> uh, but not anymore, I'm a dev now, so yeah, that's best. 
Um, so yeah, for me, it was the one of the barriers. It was um, uh, the documentation. Like for some reason, it was overwhelming for me. Like it happened with uh, Wikipedia. Like I know so many people there, and I all, only contributed by writing articles. While like I knew how to fix stuff, and I didn't because of the mm -hmm. first step, I would say. And then uh, it was kind of the same thing with Nextcloud. Like I used to translate a lot of uh, documents, um, but not uh, contribute in any way in a technical level. Uh, so yeah, like what worked for me and for some people that I know, but I don't think it's a general thing, it was like meeting in person people that either are very active contributors in a certain project or they are employees. So for both projects, but especially for Nextcloud, because when I started I didn't stop and I think I'm kind of, um, um, I'm very proud, but also because um, kind of with all the project that I contributed in a way or another, I ended up getting hired, so I'm very proud of that. Uh, but uh, this is a thing at Nextcloud, so it's not very special anymore. Like we hire a lot of community people, which is really great, and I really like that. Uh, but yeah, like the documentation was overwhelming. Like every time I started to read documentation to actually send a PR, I just stopped the documentation. Mm -hmm. um, and then meeting people in person was helpful because there was somebody telling me just do this, and uh, yeah, that's all you need. Kind so of a sort of direction. Yeah, was important. Uh, it, Exactly. Documentation is direction, but uh, if you oh, yeah. don't know where to look, sometimes it's yeah. overwhelming. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it. Um, like I'm a community manager at uh, uh, Colabra, um, so I, the thing I notice the most, uh, it's maybe sometimes we need to be more patient, <laughs> on on both ends. Only some <laughs> Always, yeah. I mean, the person who wants to uh, start to contribute, but also the other person on the other side also needs to be a little bit more patient. So, <clears throat> and sometimes it's it's sad because sometimes if if we just wait a bit longer or we we just give a bit more uh, pointers, maybe that new contributor would become a long term contributor. Uh, so I would say patience. <laughs> Persistence, like we really need to persist, like and even if we fail, which we will fail m multiple times, we always do. Oh my God, I fail every day. <laughs> but I fail, you know, it really good in in a, in a good way, like with style. So, <laughs> you know, so we we kind of learn, and then in, in, you know, and then we are here for the long run. And and I think these first time contributors, or when we when we try to contribute the first time to a project, we want everything to be perfect and we are shy and if something is not right uh, we are uh, we, we st i don't know we start to stress about it and worry and i'm like oh my god uh, maybe i'm dumb no it's just you know it's a new project for you so uh, i think just persistence patience and and, and to have a, a nice example to follow be that a, a good commit uh, an easy hack uh, you know uh, good low hanging fruits that you can pick um, because you know if everything is perfect but then you don't have the the, the low hanging fruits to work or an easy hack to work, then it's not really good. So so yeah. Yeah. So one thing we actually have for that, uh, um, maybe one of you was going to mention that as well, but uh, I'm just going to do that now. Is that we have uh, in in all the repositories we usually have good first issues. So. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, we, we have uh, good first, good first issues, uh, which are very small uh, issues. We also have good first design issues. Yeah. So uh, development. You and can also uh, combine labels to form whatever you want. So you can really pick your niche over there with yeah. the good first issue. Yeah. And so, so, so these are really like, uh, and also f for for any person who who is a maintainer here. Um, it, it helps people really to like instead of only keeping your personal notes or whatever. If it's just a small issue, document what like it's basically it basically means to document it to the extent like that the only thing that's missing is that really someone goes there and does it right. But everything else would be listed. So for example, in which file that would have to be done, uh, in, in in which line of code, maybe even what you would change it to or something right. So it's really very basic right because. Also, as you, I mean, as you probably know, Git is hard. Yeah, GitHub is hard. Programming is hard. Yeah, design is also hard. I, I think uh, so. Yeah, if you're a designer. You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> as this is, uh, there's a lot of difficulty already involved in contributing. So, so let's make this this step of like putting yourself out there as simple as possible, uh, or as easy as possible. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think um, that patience. So, I mean, I started contributing just around what, one or two years ago, I think. Just, yeah, I think it's been one year or something like that. So pretty recent. And when I first started contributing, I did, I mean, the problem of patience was not there. In the other projects, I felt very um, sort of overwhelmed and intimidated because things had to be perfect, like you said. Um, and I think what helped me the most was just striking up a conversation. So I think I mentioned that first time I just sent out an email saying with like it's like four or five questions or something, like super detailed questions. And I think getting back a positive answer really helped me. And even when I first started contributing, I think I uh, we have a weekly design call on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. if everyone is interested, um, for where we review apps. And I used to um, s uh, sit in on that uh, whenever I could. And I think I used to stay in touch. I think that really helped me a lot. And I think generally positive feedback from the maintainers wherever I, um, or not even positive feedback, I think negative feedback as well, just keeping a conversation going really helped. So I think that's what really helped me um, at the beginning. And I think if I had any questions, there would be answers. And I know it's not like that. It's not possible for um, every project to have such um, synchronous conversation as well. But I maybe if, you know, um, if someone opens an issue and it's not like dead for a week or something like that, that might really help new contributors um, actually, you know, keep them motivated and uh, moving forward, I think. And um, I also wanted to note that <laughs> you're complaining about the documentation. The documentation is actually one of the first things that I did because there was no design documentation when I joined. <laughs> and I was like, I had no idea what to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So um, you can you can check that out as well. Uh, it's on the developer uh, documentation. Just saying, a uh, little self plug there. But um, I think that direction of um, maybe looking around and knowing what to do uh, would really would have helped me at that time because I felt a little bit lost, which is why documentation was the first thing that I worked on. But it's very interesting that you were there was so much code documentation that you felt overwhelmed by it. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that is that is that is true. Documentation is very important. So yeah, uh, keep that in mind, everyone. Yeah, uh, uh, code code commenting and yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So um, yeah, maybe maybe um, let's let's uh, talk about how can new people get involved in your in your area of where you work. Like, what would you now give as pointers so people have. Uh, what would you, would you point them to, or what would you recommend as uh, as things so that yeah, there's one easy entry point maybe, or or specific things that uh, uh, that are currently in the works or open, something like that. Anything you can think of? Um, I mean, like Jan mentioned, we have a good first issues um, label. So anyone who wants to um, like pick a low hanging fruit, like Pedro mentioned, you can just filter by that label, and there should be, you know, um, at least a couple of things that you know um, you might be able to recognize or get a hang of. So that's uh, something easily that you can do. And um, I also actually have a lightning talk about how to contribute to design. So maybe I should not talk about it at all right now. So all of you show up for that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I think what can really help with design particularly is um, maybe just pointing out some issues. If you have an expertise in design, I think that really helps when um, you ha the designer's eye picks out something that maybe uh, is missed or picks out a flow that's maybe not um, really uh, really obvious to someone who's not a developer, so easily usable for non-developers. So uh, opening an issue about things like that can be really helpful, I think, because it also sparks a conversation in the following comments about you know possible solutions or anything like that. Um, you can also do mockups. I think that's the most obvious solution as uh, designers. You can just post like a little, you know, like picture of what the solution could look like. And all of those are valid. I think um, just uh, taking the first step is um, the most important thing because ma many of the times there is a conversation that follows and then it, a solution automatically evolves from that. So. 
Yeah, sure. I can just add some more on that. Uh, so um, just to kind of justify myself for talking not so nice about documentation, um, it has improved a lot, of course. Um, and uh, But if you don't like reading a lot of stuff, uh, I'm part of the groupware team, so mail, calendar, and context. Um, what we make sure there, it's at least uh, we have one public channel. So if you don't like to read stuff, you can just... Um, uh, join this public channel and ask the question and we will point you where you need to be without you reading um, a lot of stuff. Uh, we also help a lot of people to set up their um, working environment. Uh, so as a dev, I mean as a uh, the development environment, if you want to contribute uh, with uh, different PRs. Uh, we also will help you out to even open an issue on GitHub so we can have a look for you. Um, but yeah, documentation is good. I would say maybe uh, stick with GitHub uh, in the beginning. Uh, if you are a technical person on our repos, depending uh, which app would you like to contribute, and if that's not good enough, then there's always a person behind that can help you uh, start and continue. Of course, I mean we're interested. Um, well, okay, like yeah, we're interested in long-term contributions, but uh, that doesn't mean that you should stick to it. That's all. Makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of forgot what was the question. Um, uh, so, how like, how to contribute people uh, on your hello? Ah. How can people get involved in your right. area? Yeah, how, can, how to contribute, actually. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I didn't finish my coffee. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, at Colabro, I think we found out that having a website where you have all documentation help, so we have this collabra online.github.io, uh, but we also found out that uh, having regular calls, like uh, making sure that people don't get lost, or at least that they don't feel they are lost. They might be a bit lost, but it's okay. We will help them out. Um, uh, so we, we have these weekly calls, uh, and we go through all the PRs that, that are waiting to, you know, to be reviewed, or if anyone has a question, suggestion. Um, and I think that helped out uh, a lot. Um, but at the same time, there is this, what I found out is that sometimes um, there is this dangerous of getting overly invested in something before uh, starting the line of communication. You know, so, <clears throat> example. Uh, you can have, for instance, a, a designer that come, come along and cre spends a lot of time doing a mock-up of an issue that maybe already existed and there was already a discussion going on and there was already more other people uh, you know, contributing and there was really productive stuff going on there and then that person may then get upset because those things didn't get in and uh, so we try to avoid that. And I, and I mentioned designer, but it goes the same for, for, a, for a programmer that comes along and thinks, ah, wait a minute, it's missing some button here or some functionality. I will just do it. You know, open, uh, you know, open uh, the repository, read the code, which is awesome. Like, we should read the code. I mean, documentation is great, it's good, awesome. But uh, also those comments in the code itself are valuable. You know, and even reading the Git history, Git log, like all those things are, are tools at our disposal, and we can we can we can see and go through them. Uh, but sometimes it's good to uh, don't forget to communicate. You know, we don't need to be each 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 one in their own corner. We can talk uh, and ask the other, and maybe there is already something going on, and we can work together uh, instead of each one individually. So that's what I would say. The barrier. Ah, you see, I remember the question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you wanna? Yeah, I just wanted to add something. Uh, sometimes um, I have the impression, especially for people who are not very active, that they kind of expect that uh, employees should do that, like help each other, especially on GitHub. Actually, our most uh, helpful uh, members, let's say, are community people. So if you, yeah, like they help each other to move on with uh, either a PR or documentation or uh, whatever is needed. So if you are new on the project, you read a ticket and you think you can help, like you can do that. You don't need to be staff to help out or express your opinions, especially on GitHub, on a technical level and in all levels. But yeah, so please do. 
Yeah, and uh, similarly, uh, for example, Nimisha uh, um, earlier mentioned that we have a regular design call uh, every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Uh, Central European Standard Summertime, or whichever time the thing it is. Um, and this is also open to to anyone, also to uh, non-designers, of course, right? And uh, so some of some of our most active uh, participants are also not trained designers or whatever and that's actually great that's that's what our intention is like what our, our the initial reason why we did this call is because it was during covid where we couldn't meet and uh, we couldn't just be at the conference or at the contributor week and and go around and and uh, fetch one of you and uh, and say like hey do you need feedback for your app right and so so with this weekly call we do uh, we basically offer this and any one of you who wants design feedback yeah can can uh, ask for this and say like hey i would like to like on the whatever uh, whatever x of november i would like to have um, i would like to uh, show my app in the design review and would like to give fe get feedback yeah um uh, and uh, and then yeah all of us will look at it we will make a, make a list uh So, some are longer, some are shorter, doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, And uh, uh, then, then you have a bunch of feedback, you have a list that you can work on. Um, yeah, and, and this is uh, just really, really sort of, or we've made the experience that it's really quite helpful to developers. Uh, we've got the feedback. I'm not, uh, I'm not saying that from our, from, uh, our own uh, uh, sort of thing. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. Um, Yeah, um, which which also sorry that, that uh, one other thing that I that I w uh, would want to add to the like um, what was it? Well, so no, I forgot the question. How, how to contribute? <laughs> yeah, how to contribute in your area is like <laughs> in your specific area. So <laughs> the the general thing uh, I would say that the, the the easiest thing maybe yeah is testing. Yeah, every one of us uses Nextcloud. At least I assume so. Um, even if you don't use Nextcloud a lot, you maybe use other software. Maybe you use uh, some Google product, maybe some Microsoft product or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But if you run into any issue, if you run into any misunderstanding or something that's too complicated. We should know, yeah. We, we, you should let us know and uh, open an issue, yeah. That's super helpful, yeah. Maybe sometimes we we're so like uh, focused on we we looked at this for ages and stuff. Some of these things we simply uh, simply go over our head. So uh, yeah, uh, sometimes we sort GitHub issues by most uh, upvoted also. So um, yes. Um, also, want to add one thing about what uh, Pedro said. Um, uh, I think one when, when you're opening an issue, something that could be useful is to see if there are any closed issues um, uh, regarding what uh, you you know you want to uh, have a conversation about. Um, and there you can see maybe how people discussed it and if it's already merged or if there's a PR about it or something like that. And I think that might help you know uh, reduce some of the redundant issues that people open. And if you have something to add or you know some issues already closed, but you have a completely different opinion because it was closed like a really long time ago or something like that, you can always, you know, spark the conversation again. But I think um, redundant issues can really be um, reduced by checking the, you know, issue history of like closed issues or like merged PRs or why something was not taken forward. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I think more often than not, there is really cool stuff there, like some good context there, like for either his historical reasons or something. And maybe there is a reason to start to talk again. Um, but I have two questions here. L look I, at me destroying I, this whole thing. No, no, I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is the time, I think. Just, just, uh, just two questions. When is going to be your talk? I forgot oh. the time. <laughs> Ah, tomorrow. tomorrow. So we cannot miss her talk. Um, and yeah, I wanted to ask if there was some cool stuff coming coming out from those uh, design, um, you know, design calls. Because you said that there was a, some cool feedback. Well, so actually, all the what, what we what we do with all these design calls, all the uh, notes generally, they always end up in issues. Like all the all the teams. Uh, um, Some, some do it uh, some way, some do it the other way. Some put it in one overview issue, some create individual issues, whatever is easier for the team to manage. That's the, but it's all public directly afterwards. Awesome. Okay, I think we have to, is there anything more super important that you want to share or? Thank you for all the contributions done so far. Thank you very much. And, um,
We will, we will not do a Q&A because uh, uh, first we're short on time, but also because you can actually ask anyone yeah, uh, about how to contribute yeah, uh, because uh, everyone... Entire conference is a Q&A. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, and then we will uh, continue with the lightning talks. That's true. <laughs>